than 10 minutes away from local weather here on Action News Now. Brian Ramsey joining us this morning. It is Thursday. What is going on outdoors? Well, it's a little cool out there right now, but we've got rain on the way this afternoon. I'll let you know exactly when to expect it and how much. But right now, let's take a live look at the Sundial Bridge where it's dark outside at the moment. The sun has yet to rise, and it's a little cool out there, but warmer than some mornings. The current temperatures in Redding right now sitting at about 48 degrees, 47 if you are in Red Bluffs. The valley looking pretty cool, but could be colder right now. Mountain region sitting in the 30s right now. A few 20s out there. It looks like 29 right now in Chester as for today's highs, we're only going to be getting into the low 60s to upper 50s in the valley today. In the mountain regions, we'll be seeing 40s this afternoon, mainly 50s if you head to Trinity County for those high temperatures. Now, that could be warmer, but the reason it's not warmer is because we've got lots of clouds right now, and we're going to keep those clouds with the chance of rain this afternoon, and even some snow in the mountains. You see this area in purple. Not much of the Sierra is highlighted, so only a very slim area is actually included in this winter weather advisory. That's because snow levels will fall as low as 5,000 feet, but significant snow of half a foot to a foot will only be seen above 6,000 feet. Now, that's going to be starting at noon today, going into the morning tomorrow. Rain totals over the next seven days. We have three systems heading our way, one today, one Saturday and Sunday, and then one uh, Monday, Tuesday. Now, this system is not going to see much rain with it, and the next few won't either. But when you add them all together, we're probably expecting anywhere from half an inch uh, to a quarter inch in the valley. Some areas could see close to an inch. Mountain regions could certainly see more than that. A look at your future cast. Let's go ahead and time out that rain for you. Your future cast, that rain comes in around lunchtime today and then really begins to increase. It really begins to bolster itself comes down a little harder in the afternoon and the evening hours. Once that sun sets is when the rain will begin to move out. You're still going to see some rain in the area, but most of that will slowly begin to dissipate until we get to about midnight and in the morning on Friday. Then Friday's looking like a mostly sunny day. We're not going to see too much rain. However, once we get past Friday, there will be another system bringing more rain late, late on Friday into early the morning on Saturday. As for today's forecast, it's National Inventors Day, so you can remember people like Alexander Graham Bell or Benjamin Franklin. Lunch sitting at 55 degrees today and that high, pretty much the same because of the rain falling. Rain usually moderates those temperatures for you. As for your seven day forecast, in Chico High, 54 degrees for today, 61 for tomorrow. Rain leaves us tomorrow, but rain returns in the morning on Saturday before drying out again on Valentine's Day. And you see that roller coaster of rain chances. Uh, rain's back again on Monday. And then it ends again on Tuesday and Wednesday. So we've got those three wet systems in that forecast. As for Reading, high 54 degrees for today, 61 for tomorrow. Showers very late, uh, probably after 10 o'clock on Friday into early the morning on Saturday. And then another system approaches Sunday into Monday. Tuesday and Wednesday, though, will be mostly dry and back in the 60s in Reading. All right, Brian, thanks. Amid impeachment.